Carolina, and our goal is to cure cancer by inserting TGF beta into human papillomavirus cells. Willoughby and I are both in the same class and we thought it'd be better to uh, work with each other than compete against each other. We got to like work off of each other and bounce off ideas at the beginning and, and we could split up the work that some yeah. people had to do all by themselves so a lot nicer for us. A lot of times we worked alone on projects and we kind of wanted to see how we could feed off of each other and learn from each other. We became even better friends after this project because you know we spent so much time collaborating on this and it, we, it was really nice. It was a good project. Yeah, and I definitely, I feel like we're closer now and that we know a lot more about each other, definitely. It helped a lot that all three of us are really close friends and we're kind of doing the same thing. All three of us are cheerleaders. So yeah, we, we have, have similar schedules in order to do the stuff together. We just worked out everything so that we split up the work equally, made phone calls, did the research, played it a lot of the testing while we were on vacation, so it all worked out really well. We excel at different things. Alex is definitely uh, much better at the uh, engineering aspect of this project. And Tifa is a lot better at the physics aspect of it. So together we, we were re really able to make a, a broad, good experiment. So. I'm interested in genetics and she's interested in chemistry and forensics. So we just decided we'd be a good pair to work together. I kind of really wanted to do more of the experimental and she kind of really wanted to do more like the, the writing research. and the research. So we divided it up that way. Well, what we learned from working together, Colby likes to take charge, yeah. <laughs> and Claire does all of the lab work. She's the scientist, and I charm the judges with my smile. Although I think in the beginning, a little bit, when we were trying to decide what where to, to take our project, we kind yeah. of had different ideas, but we, we came together. We blended them together and came yeah. up with our project. And we're both really happy with what we yeah. have at the end, so. We also um, sometimes would just second guess ourselves, and having the partner there would be able to just say, yeah. Well, let's try it and then we can go back if it doesn't work, we'll fix it. And having somebody else to share the fixing with as well was very helpful. Okay. Sometimes we disagree on how we should word some information, but we always compromise in the end. It wouldn't upset me if someone wanted to work by themselves. Yeah, because sometimes people work better. It just depends on who you are, I guess. Yeah, because I know sometimes I tend to be a bossy person, <laughs> but if I can get along well with someone, then I'd prefer it because yeah. it's just easier to have I guess it, work. it just depends on finding the right partner. Like yeah. If you find someone that you work really well together with, then you should do it that way. I'm saying go for it. Yes. <laughs> Most science today is really done in teams because so often interdisciplinary expertise is essential to the project. So this now is replicated as we see in the science fairs and the students uh, learn a lot from the dynamics of interaction among people. Of course, a key aspect is complementary uh, talents and expertise, you can blend them but uh, learning the diplomacy of uh, dealing with other people is something that is valuable even beyond, of course, any application in the science field itself.